This is question 13. Here I'm told that A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of a circle with centre O. Then I'm told that the angle A, B, C is equal to 116 degrees. Then I'm asked to find the size of the angle marked X. I'm also asked to give reasons for my answer. So this first piece of information is really important. A, B, C and D are points on the circumference. That means that A, B, C and D form a cyclic quadrilateral. And that's going to help me with this answer. Now, on any circle theorems question, I always recommend finding out as many of the angles that you can. And just by finding out as many angles as you can, you will start to be able to spot other angles that you can work out and eventually you will get to the angle that you need to work out. So using this thing that we spotted first, A, B, C and D are points on the circumference. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral. What that means is I can then say, I can work out what this angle A, D, C is equal to. So I'm going to say that A, D, C is equal to and I'm going to say that this is 64 degrees. Now, the reason why I'm saying that this is 64 degrees is simply because this is a cyclic quadrilateral and the opposite angles. So I'm going to abbreviate a little bit here. The opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. sum to 180 degrees. So that's my first reason. So the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees. Now, now that I've worked out this angle ADC, I can now work out what X is going to be. And again, I can use another circle theorem here. So I'm going to say that X is equal to 128 degrees. And my reason here, the reason is simply going to be that the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. Okay, so just a final quick point here on any question that asks you to give reasons for your answer, the way that I would always recommend that you set it out is you state an angle and then immediately underneath you write down the reason why you have said that that angle is as you've said it. So ADC is 64 because opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180. Then we said that X is equal to 128 because the angle at the centre, so that angle there, is double the angle at the circumference. So final answer, X equals 128 and we must give those reasons with our answer as well.